Work done by the gravity is equal to negative. Ang weight natin is mass times gravity times the distance. Work done by the gravity is equal to negative 25 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times the distance na 2 meters. Work has a different meaning in physics than it does in everyday usage. In physics definition, work is done only if an object is moved through some displacement while a force is applied to it. Masasabi natin na ang force ay merong work on the object kung yung force na in itself is applied over a distance. The work then is equal to the product of the force and the distance through which the force acts. Work is equal to force times distance where yung F natin is the magnitude of the force acting on the object and the D is the magnitude of the object's displacement. That definition however gives only the magnitude of work done on an object kapag yung force is constant and parallel to the displacement which must be along a line. So one important note na kailangan natin tandaan when it comes to work, kapag magsasolve tayo ng work, yung force and yung displacement na ilalagay natin sa equation ay dapat parallel. Much like the figure here, yung force is, is parallel to the displacement. We have delta x or the change in displacement. So in other terms, work is equal to force at x. That's a horizontal component and yung delta x or the change in displacement at the x. And this is the work by a constant force during a linear displacement. Work is measured in joules or simply j. Named for the English physicist James Joule. 1 joule is equal to 1 newton times meter or simply newton meter and this is also equivalent to 1 kilogram times meter square over second square. Work can be defined in two ways. Number 1, work done by a varying force. The work done by a variable force in moving an object between two points is equal to the area under the force parallel versus the curve between two points. And secondly, we have the work done by a constant force. So take note that mas magpo-focus tayo dun sa second type ng work. The product of the magnitude of the displacement times the component of the force parallel to the displacement. So, remind lang again sa atin dito sa second type ng work is yung important key point nga natin na dapat yung force is parallel to the displacement to solve for the work. So, for example, meron tayong figure dito. Yung displacement natin is at the horizontal and meron tayong applied force with an angle. To solve for the work done here in the figure, kukunin natin yung horizontal component ng force applied which is we have force times cosine theta. So now, work is equal to force times cosine theta times the displacement. And this is the work by a constant force at an angle to the displacement. Example number one, a man puts a box in a distance of 3 meters. If he exerted a force of 75 newton, how much is the work done? Para mas ma-visualize natin yung problem, i-draw muna natin yung figure. Say for example, this is the box. And minove siya ng distance of 3 meters. So ang exerted force or ang applied force natin is 75 newton. Say nandito yung 75 newton. The question is, how much is the work done? Simply, gagamitin lang natin yung formula. And yung distance at saka yung force has the same direction. Walang angle na nakalagay dun sa forces natin. Ibig sabihin, siya na mismo ang ilalagay natin sa equation. Work is equal to force times distance. Ang force natin is 75 newton times the distance na 3 meters. Again, newton times meter is equivalent to joule. So, by calculating, 75 times 3 is equal to 225 joules. 225 joules, this is the magnitude of the work done in a box. Gamit yung force ng 75 newton and they move siya ng 3 meters. So this is example number 1. Example number 2. A nurse pushes an 87 kilogram patient on an 18 kilogram gurney, producing an acceleration of 0.55 meters per second square. How much work does the nurse do in pushing the patient and gurney through a distance of 1.9 meters? Assume the gurney moves without friction. In the figure, mapapansin natin that yung force exerted or yung force applied by the nurse is in the same direction as the displacement of the gurney. Therefore, we already know that ang gagamitin na nating equation is simply yung 
work equals force times the distance. Hindi na natin pang kailangan hanapin yung any components ng force. And in the problem, we are not given the magnitude of the force. So, hindi natin agad may apply directly yung force times distance na formula. However, binigay sa problem yung mass and yung acceleration ng patient and ng gurney. And from them, pwede natin i-calculate yung force using the second law of motion. So, by second law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration. Since isang force lang naman nag act ang kailangan natin i-calculate, ito na rin yung net force natin. Hindi ko na nalagay yung summation. Ang mass is yung pinagsamang mass ng patient and ng girl need. Dahil isang buong system silang itinutulak nung nurse. We have 87 kilograms, the mass of the patient plus 18 kilograms, the mass of the gurney, times the acceleration is 0.55 meters per second square. Force now is equal to 58 newton. Since alam na natin ngayon yung force and meron tayong given a distance, we have 1.9 meters, pwede na natin substitute ngayon itong nakuha natin value and yung given a distance sa formula natin, force times distance. Substituting the values, ang force natin is 58 newton times the distance na 1.9 meters. And again, newton times meter is simply joules na lang siya. So by calculating, we have here 110 Joules. Maaring magtaka tayo whether that yung work done by the nurse depends on the speed of the gurney. So, hindi nakadepende yung work done dun sa speed or velocity. The work done on an object doesn't depend on whether the object moves through any distance quickly or slowly. What does depend on the speed of the gurney is the rate of which work is done. So, this is example number 2. A man is trying to move a 120 kg sofa using a rope attached to its side. As he exerts a pulling force of 230 newton, the floor is giving a frictional force of 75 newton. He pulls the rope with an angle of 30 degrees. If he moves the sofa with 23.5 meters distance, how much is the network done on the sofa? Let's draw first the figure para mas ma-visualize natin yung problem. Okay, this is the sofa. And merong naka-attach na rope to its side. Doon sa rope na yun is merong applied force na 230 newton with an angle of 30 degrees. This is a 230 newton applied force. This is the angle 30 degrees. And merong frictional force na 75 newton na nag act of course dito sa part na ito. Meron pang additional na dalawang force na nag-aak sa kanya which is yung weight and yung kanyang normal force. Ito yung kanyang weight and ito yung normal force. In this problem, to solve for the net work done on the sofa, kailangan din natin hanapin yung net force na nag-aak dun sa object natin which is yung sofa. Meron tayong apat na forces na nag-aak sa kanya pero ang una natin titingnan is ano ba yung direction ng displacement or nung distance. So, We have given a distance of 23.5 meters. Ganon kalayo yung na-travel ng sofa using the applied force na 230 newton. And merong nagre-resist sa kanyang force of friction na 75 newton. Since horizontal distance yung ating ikinoconsider na gagamitin sa ating equation of force times distance, ibig sabihin na mag a na forces dun sa work ay yung horizontal force. This is the force applied. This is the force of friction. This is the weight. And this is a normal force. Since yung applied force natin is a two-dimensional force, kailangan nating hanapin yung kanyang component. We have the component X, FAX, and yung component at Y, we have FAY. And again, kinoconsider natin na displacement is horizontal. Therefore, lahat lang ng horizontal forces ang kukuhanin natin na force. By summation of forces, to solve for the net force at X, eto siya. We have first the positive force applied at the x component minus the force of friction. Solving for the net force, we have force applied at x component, 230 newton ng ating force applied cosine 30 degrees. And ito yung kanyang x component minus the force of friction na 75 newton. By calculating... Net force natin at x is equal to 124.20 newton. 
Etong net force na to ngayon nang ilalagay natin dun sa equation ng work equals force times distance. So net force at x times the distance na 23.5 meters. We have 124.20 newton times the distance na 23.5 meters. And by calculating The net work done on the sofa is, is equal to 2,918.7 joules. So, ganito kalaki yung magiging work done on the sofa dun sa layo na 23.5 meters and with a horizontal net force na 124.20 newton. So, this is example number 3. Example number 4. How much is work done in raising a 2 kilogram book from the ground to a height of 1.8 meters? For example, this is the book and kailangan natin siyang iangat pataas so a-apply natin siya ng force applied and meron nagre-resist sa kanya na weight. This is the force applied and this is the weight. So we only have two forces na nag sa kanya and wala siyang normal force kasi hindi siya nakares sa surface and inangat natin siya from a height of 1.8 meters. The force needed to raise the book is equal to the weight nung book mismo and meron tayong formula for the weight mass times gravity yung weight natin or yung gravitational force natin ay nag act parallel dun sa distance of the book which is yung 1.8 meters we have a vertical distance here so tama lang na ang gagamitin natin is yung weight kasi vertical yung force na yun by second law of motion we have no accelerations walang ibang nag act sa kanya na acceleration other than the acceleration due to gravity So, pwede na natin i-zero to. And by summation of forces at y, this is positive weight minus force applied. So, this is zero na. Yung force applied natin is directly equal sa weight. And this is equal sa mass times the gravity. Ito na mismo yung ilalagay natin dun sa equation natin na force times distance. So, ang work done is equal to force times distance. Ang force natin is ito or simply yung mass times gravity. We have 2 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times yung height or yung displacement na naabot ng book. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng work. We have 1.8 meters. By calculating, ang work done on the book is equal to 35 joules. So in this problem, nasa Y component naman yung ating system. Unlike from problem 1, 2, and 3, lahat yun is nasa horizontal component we just have to take note that hindi lang sa horizontal component pwedeng mag-occur ang work so this is example number 4 example number 5 a boy is carrying a 25 kg load of books up to an incline ramp of a height 2 meters the inclination of the ramp is 27 degrees letter A how much is the work done by the boy on the load of books letter B How much is the work done by the gravity on the load of books? And letter C, how much is the net work done? Let's draw first the figure. So this is the ramp. We have 27 degrees here. And meron tayong height na 2 meters. So nag-start dito yung boy. Daladala niya yung load of books. So the first question, how much is the work done by the boy on the load of books? Yung boy is meron siyang ibinibigay na force dun sa book para mabuhat yung book. Meron siyang force applied. And again, meron namang weight na ibinibigay yung books. We have here. And this is equal to mass times gravity. So sa letter A, ang i-consider natin is yung force applied na ibinibigay ng boy. Sa letter B naman is yung weight to solve for the work done by the gravity. Kasi yung weight again is equivalent to the gravitational force. For letter A, this is like The previous problem, work is equal to force times distance. And this is force applied times the distance. By second law of motion again, at y, we have zero acceleration. Therefore, sa summation of forces, we have force applied minus weight considering this is the positive sides. Yung force applied natin is directly equal sa weight and yung weight again natin is mass times gravity. Work done by the boy is equal to force applied natin is, again, mass times gravity lang then times the distance. Work done by the boy, say, work 
sa B na lang ilagay natin dito, ang mass natin is 25 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times the distance na 2 meters. Work done by the boy by calculating this is equal to 490.5 joules. For letter B naman, work done by gravity. So this is work sub G na lang. And yung gagamitin natin is yung weight. Again, yung weight natin is on the negative direction. So this is negative weight ng books times the distance. Yan yung height natin. Work done by the gravity is equal to negative. Ang weight natin is mass times gravity times the distance. Work done by the gravity is equal to negative 25 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square times the distance na 2 meters. Work done by gravity is equal to negative 490.5 joules. For letter C naman, we are asked to solve for the network done. So, para ma-solve natin yun, ang gagawin lang natin, this is work net or network. Ipag-aad lang natin lahat ng work na na-applied natin dun sa book. First is yung work done by the boy and second is yung work done by the gravity. I-aad lang natin silang lahat. Work done by the boy plus work done by the gravity. Work net is equal to, i-substitute natin lahat ng na-solve natin na values from work done by the boy we have 490.5 positive plus work done by the gravity we have negative 490.5 joules ang network done natin dun sa book is now equal to 0 this is the answer for the network done on the book work is positive when the force and displacement are in the same direction 0 if the force is perpendicular to the displacement and negative if the force and displacement are in opposite direction so this is example number 5